But mm. this is what I say. Maybe we could get uh, Jim C. The Wolf is very in on um, this discussion a little later on. But I'm thinking if you're going to be rolling up, the, you know, some bills to do some stuff. Yeah. Ah, you roll up more than one. You, th- you would you? Why not? Would you? Why um. Not? Because I never did. Yeah. <laughs> I never had more than one after you buy some. <laughs> yeah, but he... I never even had one. <laughs> the system was filled with methamphetamines and barbiturates, Sam. Whoa, Jim C. Jim C. making an appearance the on the opening cor- show. The corner, Jim C. Yes, Jim C. It Jim looks C. like murder. <laughs> Does it? How could it be murder when nobody uh, was there? Uh, until he was dead, really. There were pills scattered all over the bed, Sam. <laughs> oh, Jim C. so passionate. He really is. Now, uh, I see you're running your finger down a leg. Is that Heath Ledger's or your flat-ass <laughs> companion on, on the boat? It's a cardboard cutout I took, and I talked to it on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Take your tiny genitals out of here, Assistant Sam. <laughs> We have a homoerotic relationship. <laughs> wow. wow, man! Uh, to hear it right from Jim C, it's uh, fascinating. She lays on her stomach, and I do lines off a flat ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mirror. <laughs> Jim C rules. Oh, we Jim love Jim C. Of, everything. of course, it's always murder. Murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. Uh, God, I'm looking for. There was a term they. That's all right. He, I know. It, it was it just basically that God needed a bride. Oh, just, just they keep... found wedding cake all over her lips, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> she was dancing and she fell down. <laughs> well, G. Quint, shut up, Sam. Your genitals are tiny. <laughs> Get my members only jacket. I'm gonna drive by an explosion and investigate. <laughs> Why would a coroner do that, Quincy Jimsy? Uh, isn't he uh, supposed to stay back at the lab and and do the autopsies? Why are you That's always easy in the for act- you to say? Ooh. But I think she was murdered. Oh, okay, murder. <laughs> They found Fudgy the whale in her vagina, Sam. <laughs> uh, I think it was murder because the cake only came with the groom standing up and the bride was lying face down on the top of the cake, Sam. Hey, Lieutenant Monahan here. Get away from me. Your action is inconsistent with everyone else in this show. <laughs> uh, Jim C. Uh, let's go to Dave in uh, Wisconsin. Dave. I wanted to know what uh, Jim C's take was on uh, this guy getting run over. Hmm. I don't, oh, know. I don't know. if he, Did he see the uh, pictures? We have to wait till the autopsy comes in. <laughs> he had bus treads all through the back of his calves. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be we're gonna be knee deep in bodies, Sam. If this bus driver isn't stopped, there was an explosion. <laughs> an explosion, and and Jim C was there. That old some man reason. fell. Now, uh, do you assume the driver might be charged with uh, something? The toxicology report shows he had gravy on his shirt. It was murder. <laughs> <laughs> Catchphrase, Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to see rules. Two line, Jim C. Nothing. We're working all your catchphrases into this show today. It's just <laughs> two line, Jim C. Two line, Jim C. I know nothing else. <laughs> Sam has tiny genitals, and somebody was murdered. Well, it's always see, murder. Well, the old man was flattened. How how flat did he get, uh, Jim C? Mm. He looked like my girlfriend. There you go. I went over. I crushed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Quince, let me tell you, Detective Monahan, shut up, you're ruining the scene again. <laughs> we like you better as speed in the other show. That <laughs> <laughs> was speed, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, very good, there you go. Wow, look at that picture. She's yeah. in a little uh, bra and panty looking thing. Yeah, E Rock just shut the show down by uh Yeah, popping up pictures of this dead model. Yeah. Fantastic. It was mm. ridiculously hot or used to be ridiculously hot. Now. Somebody said something that now, was a little... now she's smelling a little bit. Oh. You know what though? It hasn't been that long. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, God. You didn't leave her out in the sun, did you? Get out of the way from yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> we could close the door. <laughs> Sam, he's climbing on top of her. Uh-oh, what happened? <laughs> Jimsy. <laughs> Jimsy, do you know what happened with this Russian model committing suicide? It looked like she fell. <laughs> <laughs> now, if, if she would have landed on her back, how flat would uh, she have gotten? Her whole back and ass would have been pancake flat. But they know she fell. There was grease marks smeared on the banister. <laughs> oh, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I love that scene with the with the with the kids. If I could just talk to her. If I could just talk to him for a second. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> oh. You're the problem, man. We're just an escape goat. Do, you, do we have that audio still? The, when Quincy decides he has to go to a punk, oh. a punk club and talk to the punk rockers. They're the worst punk rockers ever. Oh. They're at, they're right out of central casting, as they like to Horrid. say. Hollywood central casting. That show stunk. I know. Quincy stunk, and it was a huge, successful show that, that I remember watching and people watching every week. But it stunk. It really was awful. Detective Monaghan and stupid Sam and then that cheesy mustache <laughs> boss would walk in, homoerotically look at Quince, <laughs> rub his hands together with his OCD. You get anything done, Quince? And stare at Quince, <laughs> Quince's crotch. <laughs> I despised him. <laughs> All you really wanted was Oscar Madison back. Yeah. yeah. You know? It was like, it's Oscar Madison. And then he's there, you know, as the coroner. Oh, here's Quincy. Funny. Here's Quincy trying to talk to the Good. kids at the punk rock club. <laughs> I know, I know this this show is older than dirt, but oh, it just makes us laugh is. every time because he's he's just such a square. What is this like? Eighty one is probably something like, like that. TV era. Yeah. Please, can I have your attention? Please, it's very important. Listen to the punk rock music, by the way, because they're selling this like it's a punk rock band, a punk rock club. It sounds like kind of the Allman Brothers or something. <laughs> yeah, like, because they weren't able to like TV shows. Now they just buy the rights to music and right. you know, bands love being on uh, TV shows. Back then, it was just the musical director, the same guy that wrote the the opening song. Sure, he's the guy that has to come up with this rock music that it's his interpretation of punk rock. Well, because they want to keep it safe. Yeah, the, they had older demos lis uh, listening, watching this Quincy. So, you know, you had the Sex Pistols already. This doesn't sound anything like the Sex Pistols, no. and, and it's supposed to be a, a punk rock club. He's just yelling over the music. What? Yeah, <laughs> listen well. how fast it quiets down too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a, a, this is horrible. Wouldn't a punk rock club like not like quiet oh, they down right throw away? Throw things at the old bastard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> his dumb members only jacket. <laughs> Nine, all the hide fingers. Nineteen seventy six for Quincy. Oh, wow. wow. Please, can I have your attention, please? It's very important. Silent. <laughs> Seriously, said it's important. Very they important. Oh, okay, music. we're punks, but. Uh, but Got sensibilities. <laughs> yeah. But no one's doing anything during the music. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> and then it's just very important. Silence. <laughs> They're all reading, perusing magazines. <laughs> yeah. What was the uh, what was the year on that? Of this particular one? Well, Quincy ran from seventy six to eighty three, so seventy six? Yes. Yeah, so I think this wow. was right in the middle, I would I would yeah. imagine. Can we do say. a count as to how many seconds passed when he sure. goes, Can I have your attention please? To the silence, Iraq, please. Or, or we'll try. Right, I trust you. Yeah, we're gonna try this, but uh, <clears throat> yeah. Keep in mind, once watch. again, it, it's it's a uh, it's 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 a punk rock club with yeah. punk rockers. Awful music. It'd be a riot. They're against everything. And you could hear him over the music, crystal yeah. clear. Yeah. Please, can I have your attention, please? It's very important. <laughs> Less than a second. Three, three seconds <laughs> at most. No, in the beginning of it. No, less than a second, though, when he says it's important. Abigail, God. Dumb fingers are all clenched in importance. Yeah. <laughs> Many of you know Abigail. Please, can I have your attention, please? It's very important. Thank you. <laughs> now, many of you know Abigail Garvin. And all of you know that the police are looking for in connection with a murder that happened right here in front of this stage. Now, all the charges against her have been dropped. She's innocent. If she comes back, nothing will be done to her. Why should we believe you? Oof. If I knew who that girl was, I sure as hell wouldn't tell a cop. Because that's all you are, man. It's a dog without a uniform. I don't care what kind of names you call me. <laughs> I'm only interested in helping Abby. Oh. This is right out of a John Wayne movie. <laughs> no, it's not. There was acting in those movies. 
<laughs> this is out of this is out of a school play. So, I'm just interested in helping Abby. <laughs> But I love the way. It goes, I don't care what you call me. Yeah, why would he? Why even address it, Quince? <laughs> I, I don't care what kind of names you call me. They call me names in school. Sticks and stones can break my bones. When you say I don't care what you call me, guess what? You really care. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Quincy was really hurt by the punk rockers. Call oh. me whatever you want. Call me the queer coroner like they always do. <laughs> 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 call me Sam's husband. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hang out with those guys. Oh, of course. They're such punks. Oh, and that... they're dangerous. <laughs> he wasn't killed. Dangerous. <laughs> and then the, uh, the one kid makes a statement here. Look, we have reason to believe that she's with Zach's real murderer, Molly Howard, and Molly is trying to push her into a codeine overdose. So please, if you have any information. <laughs> what? How? She's given a NyQuil. <laughs> That's right. Holding over those. Abigail has a cough, and we think there's a plan. <laughs> <laughs> she needs Sudafed. <laughs> Stupid Quincy. Ah, Quincy's an ass. She's really. been eating Flintstone chewables for three days. <laughs> <laughs> the worst threat I've ever heard in my life. It's it, given man. a codeine. That's right. What the hell is that? It's an overdose of sunny delight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh and Molly is trying to push her into a codeine overdose. So please, if you have any information. That's a crock, mister. You think we're all zombie killers. You're the killers. Your whole sick society. Oh. That's who's guilty, man. We're just your lousy escape goat. Besides, man, <laughs> who the hell cares? Dejected Quince walks yeah. away. Walks off the stage because the punk rock yeah. shot to him. Yeah, who cares anyway? That was the punk attitude. Like, yeah. you know, man, society. Can we find out? The yeah, I'm just an escape goat. Can we find out the name of that actor? I want to see what he he, he did after Quincy. <laughs> what did he do? He, he, he must have won an Oscar somewhere, and we just don't know. <laughs> this model jumped. He had to have killed himself. <laughs> oh, please. We can only hope. Yeah, listen to him again. The acting is amazing. We have reason to believe that she's with Zach's real murderer, Molly Howard. And Molly, Molly Zach, and Abigail are So <laughs> please, if you have any information. That's a crock, mister. You think we're all zombie killers. You're the killers. Your whole sick society. That's who's guilty, man. We're just your lousy escape goat. Besides, man, who the hell cares? We got to find off. out who that guy is. Just walk off, Quince. <laughs> just saunter off. You failed. Yeah. It's just terrible. You failed everybody, Quincy. You think we're all zombie killers? What? Zombie killers! Did I call you a zombie killer? That's right. <laughs> Did I call you a zombie killer lover? No, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know if you're a zombie killer. You're not an actress. <laughs> I want to know who was so who didn't get these parts. Who yeah, right. else auditioned? Two shrubs and a rock? She's so. trying to kill her with hot, healthy Cheerios. <laughs> what? That's right. That's yeah, right. Really. She's been dabbing Kleenex under her nose and shaking her brain around. <laughs> It's it's funny to think that that's the furthest they could commit is codeine overdose. Codeine overdose. You know, we got to play the safe still, you know. Who's ever been pushed into a codeine <laughs> pushed overdose? Into, okay, little teaspoon open. <laughs> open. 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 <laughs> open. It's, it's just impossible. Yeah. She's trying to kill her with mercury by feeding her salmon every five minutes. <laughs> 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 and Quincy is a complete ass. <laughs> oh, so is Abigail. Abigail's you, a douche. <laughs> how do you not see that coming? Yeah. <laughs> At least the mother in Sixth Sense put some poison in the cereal that anyone would taste. Who doesn't taste Drano in, 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 <laughs> in a little <laughs> soup? Captain Crunch. <laughs> Let's go to Sean in North Carolina. Sean. <laughs> we, we think she's been... We think she's been taking mackerel and using heavy equipment. <laughs> That's funny. She ate a sandwich and went swimming in less than an hour. We have to get to her. It could be murder. It, it might turn into murder. <laughs> Zach's real killer is here. Abigail and Mr. Schwartz and other non-punk <laughs> names. I don't know who came up with. Abigail. Almighty. Abigail. She has her crossing her eyes and punching her in the stomach. <laughs> her eyes can stay that way. <laughs> We gotta find another Quincy episode oh. that we can have fun with. Oh, we can't get enough of the punk rockers. They rule. Oh. Zombie killers, man. man. It's your sick society.
I'm, I'm an escape goat. And yeah, the other guy, a, an escape goat. And the other guy delivers the line so quietly. Yeah, but who cares? Who cares? He whispers it. Yeah, who, who cares? Oh, man, that's, well, that was the line that got to Quince. He walked yeah. off stage dejected. Hands in his pockets. Look Go ahead. Go ahead. Play your punk rock music. <laughs> Get back to your, your punk rock, easy listening punk rock music. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like a jock talking over a music bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, let's say hi to oh, Chris. Of I was thinking of uh, there's chocolate prom and there's... <laughs> yeah, that was... Prom C was one. <laughs> right. Chris in the Poconos, how's that heart-shaped tub? Uh, sucks. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm calling to see if uh, E-Rock's all right. I heard a man died the other day eating a cake. <laughs> yeah, E-Rock, uh, thank God you didn't die from uh, that cake. It wasn't E-Rock. What? It wasn't E-Rock, It was a cake-eating contest or something? Yep. And some guy... How, what did he die of? Did he choke? Cake. I don't know. Can't die he of cake? Died of cake. We <laughs> learned you could die he drinking died of water. Cake. Sam, we found Duncan Hines in his pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Gypsy. Ah, he died of cake. Apparently, he yeah. had frosting on the corner of his mouth, <laughs> but it wasn't in his hand. Sam, somebody put it there. Do you think so, Quint? That's right, Detective Monahan. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was. <laughs> Jim, see, it's always murder. It'd just be something else for once. Why does it's it always have to always be murder? Always murder. He never just picks up a body that died of natural causes. I or... have frosting all over my members only jacket. <laughs> uh, it's always murder. And the frosting was so smooth, I could spread it with my girlfriend's flat cardboard <laughs> knife ass. Uh, your stupid boat. <laughs> I live on a houseboat oh. because pederast laws don't apply in international <laughs> waters. Uh. I don't do anything. They're just so cute when they're that small. <laughs> what did he die uh, of? It was murder. It was, Jim right. C. said so. Good enough. We got to take our first thing in his mouth and not in his hand. It's obvious. <laughs> or, yeah, we're going to do uh, that one. Stupid <laughs> Jim one. I'm, I, I, I've matured in my almost old age. And I, I'll give I, I I accept one mistake a day now, not two. <laughs> I know we're going through a merger, and I know most people have pretty much given up like working. <laughs> merger. <laughs> the two companies were dying, Sam. They had to get together. It was merger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <but>, uh, <laughs> they gave Martha Stewart two billion dollars, Sam, and then they counted with Oprah and a quarter trillion. There was a merger. <laughs> a quarter trillion. <laughs> Oh, I fucking uh, love Jim C. Love Don Wicklin better fucking call Norton after the show because he just saved probably ten to twenty thousand dollars worth of equipment. That's right. <laughs> Getting a quick laugh just as Pick I was ready to destroy. With your baby blue eyes, Don. Your <laughs> eyes are bigger than Sam's genitals. Oh, come on, quit. Shut up, Sam. You're Asian. You have the genitals of a baby. <laughs> Oh, now the music. Great. Now the music. Right. Good <laughs> cue. The flow was just murdered. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So what was, what was the matter? Yeah, there seemed to be a problem with the, the sound. The bodies are piling up. <laughs> I have a members-only jacket and a flat-ass girlfriend and three lines. <laughs> I need a rider. <laughs> No. Oh, fuck it, man. People I think have, a gear broke. People stopped working like a, like a year well, ago. Well, we don't stop working because the bios are but I fucked up again. <laughs> <laughs> I got over eager. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say we don't stop working because the bodies are piling up. <laughs> Got to get out there and start solving some of these crimes instead of just, you know, doing autopsies. Wilmington Wow from Whackbag. XM stock is dead, Sam. It was... Merger. I don't need Wilmington's help. <laughs> I bought my, my own with my own three lines. The stock was murdered. <laughs> I have kernel of corn teeth, Sam. <laughs> There's 80 teeth in one quarter inch of space. I chew very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fucking kid. laughs> God damn it. That's <laughs> right. My girlfriend's on my houseboat. She has an ass like a T-square. <laughs> I was burping. <laughs> 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 
Hey, let me tell you, Quint. I'm going to go with you, Detective Monahan, <laughs> and solve the moon. <laughs> The Did people you... shooting at me. That never happens anywhere. <laughs> Who shoots at the car in the... <laughs> I'm 71 with a lump on my throat, but I'm fucking a hard blonde. Fucking gypsy. God. I might... Oh, correct. very good, Jimmy. Jimmy's on to something there. You use uh, your forensic uh, expertise? You could hear screaming and then all of a sudden, a laugh. <laughs> You shouldn't have heard laughter in the middle of screaming, Sam. It obviously was the person with the camera. <laughs> Do you think it's some kind of... Uh... Anthony's afraid that blackness is contagious. It's not, Sam. <laughs> you're born with it or you're not. <laughs> Does it sound like that person was in some kind of distress? Uh, alive, dead... Do you think it was natural causes? What, what did that sound like? I don't know. I can't tell because of the 80 decibel song coming to my head. <laughs> Sounds are one thing, E-Rock. I'm going to be deaf, and you're going to be accused of murder. <laughs> Jim C. I love Jim C. I can't get enough of Jim C. <laughs> With his flat-ass girlfriend. I know. <laughs> Turn the music louder. They can't hear it, Sam. <laughs> Well, Clance, get your tiny genitals away from me, Sam. <laughs> Stop with the magnifying glass underwear. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs> Jim C. <laughs> Jim C's a five-line pony. <laughs> I love him, though. <laughs> Those five lines are gold. I've never seen Jim C in person. Yes. Oh, Jim C does the Jim face and everything. Yeah, we don't know if Oh, it's amazing. What do you think today? the problem was with this Asian man once they got him uncuffed? He had a subdural hematoma, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> he was an Asian man like Sam. His <laughs> wife should be moved. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I never saw the face. It's great. He does the hand That's and That's right. She had the equivalent of a small person cut out of her stomach. <laughs> Come in my mouth, hurts the Jim C. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a topic. I, I want to play too. All like right. The guy that always tries to up one up people. Yeah. Give me one. I'll do it. Yeah, he's okay. Look, he's log. Look, look, he's look. Making up. mud yeah. pies as a child. When I was a kid, I would make mud pies and throw them at people, and everybody would have mud on their faces. <laughs> he's laughing. See. Boo! Then there would be a murder. Yeah. Boo! That's no. right. He got mud in his face, Sam. <laughs> I wish people could see this face. I know. The it's Jim amazing. Face Your great. hairdo looks like a mud pie, Sam. <laughs> it's You're like, like, it's like you see the real man. people. I have a little kernel of corn tea. <laughs> <laughs> My know, girlfriend on the boat has an ass like a mud pie, Sam. <laughs> oh, it's all flat. Yeah. It's very flat. <laughs> you remember one year he had a horse in the Kentucky Derby? <laughs> so, oh, so. yeah. Jackie's girl or something. Jackie's clubman. Right. Or something. And my whole That's family, right. for some reason, was sitting on the TV watching the Kentucky Derby, and we were all rooting for Jack Klugman's <laughs> stupid Why? Who gives a I shit? I don't know, but to me and my family, it was Oscar Very Madison's do uh, yeah. dog. <laughs> the name of my horse is Throat Cancer. Throat <laughs> Cancer. Oh, God. <laughs> and around the stretch they come. Throat Cancer. Pneumatic tire is flat. Pneumatic. <laughs> <laughs> Tire is flat. I know that we one. lost a girl. She was skiing without a helmet. <laughs> oh, good girl. Hey, Next I'm... time you hit your head, aren't you going to be freaked out? That you yeah. have a fucking hepatural getting a headache. Go right to the fucking Subdural hospital. hematoma. Yeah. Hang up some fucking uh, snap-on tool calendars, <laughs> like you get at the garages. How about <laughs> with the chicks? How about a safe TV show that makes you laugh a few a few times? A TV show would be how about great a little, to have a TV in there. How about there. a little flat screen that's showing Seinfeld or, or... Quincy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Quincy, right? <laughs> it was whatever this guy has, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Wait a minute, how is he that was slow and painful. <laughs> <laughs> he cried a lot. <laughs> it started out as a headache. I have a headache. That's why I came here. What? Look at Quincy. He had normal symptoms. The everyday cold and his genitals were cancerous. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, but that's what I have. Yeah. Turn this off. Where's the remote, Doc? He complained he couldn't sleep, Sam. No. He had botulism. <laughs> I think I got the botulism. <laughs> Get this off. I hate Quincy. That's right. I, <laughs> he had a little cough. His wife was having sex with non-whites. <laughs> <laughs>
doctors. They're a bunch of ghouls. Uh, they are ghouls. They hang ghoulish things ghoulish on their walls. Things up. Happy things. I want Norman Rockwell posters of little kids with stethoscopes on their chest. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Paul. With, with, it looks like it looks like one of these little pieces of tomato for my omelets. Oh, oh, like, especially there's a clot on there. It's awful. It looks like someone spit cherry gum on your fucking dick. <laughs> like Lincoln's pillow when they took him out of Ford's theater and laid him in that hotel room. <laughs> your fucking cockhead has a subdural hematoma on the outside. <laughs> he put it in at the wrong time of the month, Sam. Oh, Jesus, Jimsy. What happened? Yeah. That's right. He's got a bloody pee. <laughs> All he had to do was wipe it off with a wet nap. <laughs> he left it. He, he left fell asleep it on. like that. But yeah, you don't want to. You, you want to clean up. Oh, you have to. You don't want to fall asleep and wake up with uh, with that. Your on dick there. stuck to the sheets and a oh, fucking Jesus. some fucking some of her long hair stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just everything stuck to it. It's like a fly strip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pulling a lifesaver on a mom's purse. <laughs> <laughs> but taste it. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> party guy laugh. <laughs> oh my god! All right. Hey, Vinny's here from the Stress Factory. Fuck Vinny. Where is he? And we oh. got food. So you want to take? You want to take a quick little break? Just a little one. So I we can shove some gonna, food down our throat. I figured I'd just have a few grapes on the air if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Uh. Uh, later on, she said she had a. Uh, or they said she it was complaining of a pounding headache. And that's when uh, she went to the hospital. And, uh, you know, within an hour of that, they're just looking at, oh, my God, there's cataclysmic brain damage. What, was it internal bleeding? It had to be. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because what happens is that internal bleeding starts crushing your own brain. Yeah, you, you bleed into your And there's nowhere skull. for the blood to go, so it just keeps... It crushes put, your brain. Yeah, the pressure just builds up. She had a subdural hematoma. <laughs> oh, Jim C. My God. Goodness. A little a bump on the head can do it. The blood begins to build up and the brain gets crushed, Sam. <laughs> the blood oh. builds up below the dura. <laughs> There's nothing doctors can do about it. <laughs> wow, Jim C's so knowledgeable on this. Blood sure fills is. the cavity between the skull and the brain. The resulting pressure can damage the tissue. <laughs> really, Jim C? It can happen from an innocent fall. <laughs> a little bump to the head. <laughs> Yeah, because you would expect a more uh, a harder hit on the head. Why something so light? How could that happen? Jim because C? you have you have the scalp, you have the skull. It's all light tissue. <laughs> oh, I okay. should probably know a better term than <laughs> light tissue, <laughs> but I don't. And I threw you, I threw you a question that wasn't answered in the newspaper. Yes. Yeah. No, that's not what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jim C. Good old Jim C. The. Uh, that in the la 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 la. In the la 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 la. Yeah, in the la 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 la. Yeah. Yeah. L look at the bay like Spalding Gray did. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Calling you, isn't it? No, Spalding. Yeah. Spalding. <laughs> uh, well, once again, half the people love it, half the people hate it. Wash up like a fiddler crab. <laughs> Jesus. Did he ever wash up? Yeah, they found him. They found him. He jumped off a ferry here in New York for the people. That How could you kill yourself? That I would just land in the water and swim. Yeah. There goes the ferry. Yeah. <laughs> Something about killing yourself. You don't do that swim part. Yeah, but as you soon as you hit the water, I think you realize it was a dumb idea and you start swimming for sure. I bet you that's what happened, but he didn't make it. Yeah. Maybe he couldn't swim. Yeah, I bet you that's what happened. Hmm. It can't be still a good idea when you hit the water. That's what I'm thinking. There was water in his lungs, Sam. <laughs> he was a monologist. He was spreading joy, and he drank the whole. He drank the whole lake, Sam. There was nothing left. He was floating with slacks on. <laughs> My houseboat was sitting there in mud because all the water soaked into his fat little pants. His lungs were like a sham. Wow. <laughs> Like that girl's ass. I thought she had one. I was like, what a sham. Wow. <laughs> so Jim C music. Yeah. We do have to oh, take yeah. a break.